All right. It is time for the seven days to die spotlight test. And we have all the, uh, the uh, structures in place and we're going to be testing, uh, just looking to see it, how the, how the spotlights project on a wall or a building at a couple different height levels. We have two different tests. One's going to be ground level highlighting a wall. Uh, then we have uh, one block up highlighting a wall. And then we have two blocks up highlighting a wall and we're just going to see how the light will appear shining at a like a wall or something just to get an idea of you know uh <clears throat> you know, how do you want the you know what kind of coverage do we want to highlight a wall on this one we have a larger building this is only a fence or like, well, like a wall it's not an actual building here we're projecting on a tall building and we want to see what the total light coverage area is when you're uh highlighting an actual building and we have I think six or seven different lights we have ground level up close we have one level up a little bit about two blocks back and up one block uh, we have a th another one two blocks up and then a couple back about two blocks back and then here we have the tallest one which is one two three blocks up and shining straight forward. The rest of these are at the same distance. Then we have two blocks up and one block up at the same distance. So we're just going to get an idea of what different light positionings will look like and the effect that they'll have. Um, of course, our electricity, our generators are over on our platform, so we have to connect it. I had goofed up earlier and I'd started connecting from the end and worked my way back here and I forgot that when you wire your components up, you have to start at the source and work your way towards the, uh, the um, powered uh, item, whatever it is. It has to be in that order, otherwise it won't wire properly and you'll have to go back and redo some of it. So for this uh, purpose, we're going to use the generator. And let's see how we're doing. Uh, we got we got enough fuel in here to last a while. Um, what do we got? 150 watt output, and we're powering 95 watts, so we should be good. We have more small engines if we need to add some more output. And so we're going to uh, uh, branch off of this relay here, and that's how we're going to start our connections. Okay, so we have this connected here going to the relay on the control panel wall and we're about to power the switches now I had goofed up I actually goofed up on this one here and you'll notice I want to show you some bad wiring um, I have this wired from the relay to the number one switch and I just powered it to the number two switch and so on and so forth because I only I needed the lights on all at the same time but you'll notice when I power the one on, since they're all connected, they all come on. So cutting power cuts off the circuit for all the rest of these switches. So I kind of goofed up on my wiring. Uh, it doesn't really matter though for this purpose. Um, but I'm not going to make this on this uh, on this test when we want to ha actually have individual controls of each spotlight. Uh, we we can't wire that way. We can't uh, have power connected from one switch to the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to power um, to the relays. I have relays below each switch. So we're going to connect to this first relay. And then we're just going to continue to branch off that to the second relay. And I think we have a total of, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine switches. We have nine spotlights and nine switches. So this is going to get a little complicated here, but like I said, we want each switch to be individually powered by its own dedicated relay. So let's see. Let's see if we can get one more here. Let me connect. Okay, that's looking good. And then for the other ones, I'm not going to completely make this uh, cumbersome. So I have another relay here. And then we're going to continue to power these relays off of this uh, external relay here. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So we have power going to each relay. Now we've, I better check the output before I continue. I want to make sure I don't overload this thing. So we have a number of different things going on. Uh, 112 out of 150. Okay, so we're still doing good. We're not overloading the system just yet. I'm, I'm, I got a feeling we're going to have to add another generator though. Okay, now it's time to wire each individual uh, switch. And you can see exactly what the load is, one watt here. When we make this connection, each, each connection from the relay to the switch will take up one watt. Starting to get a little psychedelic looking here. But of course, always remember this is going to disappear once we, once we uh, move to a different tool and uh, put up our wiring tool. Alright. Alright, there we go. I'm liking this. This is looking good. So each switch is getting its own dedicated power now. Do I want to add... I got a feeling we should... Uh, let's 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 see what happens. Let's keep going here. Now what we do is we're going to uh, power from each switch to these little power poles here that I have. Basically, I just took two logs, stacked stacked two logs on top of each other, and put a relay on on the very top, almost like a telephone pole, sort of. Can I reach? I think so. And as we can see, it's still only consuming one watt of power, so that's good. Okay, so I got the six spotlights for the building test. And then we have three spotlights for the wall test. So we're going to continue to move on to the wall test now. And I think for this one, I was going to have these two go to that uh, relay over there. Although I, I might have to change this around a little bit. But let's see if this works. This should be fine. I think I was going to have one go to here. Dang it. Ugh, too far. Dang it, dang it, dang it. See, this would have reached from this relay, but since we're rewiring it from that, we're going to have to... Uh, okay, we're going to have to move this relay back a little bit. Which means we're going to need another box. Yeah. Excuse me while I re readjust a little bit here. Um, let's try here, I think. Uh, I'll leave it, well, I'll leave that in place for now. But we need two more relays. Because I'm changing the distance that I wired that at. Electric wire relay. Okay. Do we have a zombie here? Where you at, zombie? Oh, here we go. Come on. Walk towards the spinning blade traps. Come on. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Why fight the zombies when you can have the traps do your work for you? I like that. I like that. Okay. Relay. We're going to do one here and maybe one on the bottom. And let's get our wiring tool again. Okay. Now we're going to connect... Our wall, one of our wall switches. Uh, we should be able to wire it over here. There we go. And one more. Okay, there we go. You know what I might do? I mean, what the heck? We got these relays sitting here. I'm just going to make a short connection. 
All right, here we go. Okay, now let's see. The 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 the, the ground mounted unit is going to go here, and that's going to go, I think, here. Our spotlight up there shining up lighting up everything and we go to there we go and then we hook up to our light there we go so that's one hooked up and on to our second uh, spotlight here oh Oh, yeah, right over here. Okay. And then we're going to finish up. We're going to finish up the wall uh, test. And this is going to our... Oh, wait a sec. No, we don't need that. We already have that in place. Because this is already... The power is going to this real... This one's going to... Where is that thing? Oh, right over here okay so the connection that we are making is one two three four five six seven right over here and then we hook up to the spotlight there we go so all our wall test connections are done before we continue with the building test let's check our output 116 up to 121. I'm getting a little nervous. Eh, well, we still got. Let's let's wait a little bit. We're gonna need another motor soon, though. <laughs> okay, so now we have power going to all the. I call it the power poles here. This actually isn't a bad design. If you had these up a little higher, like maybe one or two more logs, these could actually work as proper power poles. Keep tripping over that brick. Oh, dang it, now I'm getting a little bit, it's still a little light out. I might tweak the gamma just a bit here, just to make it more dark. And our final connections. Yeah, see, the moon is bright. It's kind of actually lighting up a lot of things. Don't like that. It looks as if each spotlight is only taking up five watts of power, so that's not too bad, really. I think I have this set up to where this wire's directly here. We've got two more connections here. This one here goes to this relay, and this relay goes to that spotlight here. And our final connection goes to this relay here and then we put, connect this to the ground mounted spotlight and that's it so we have everything wired up properly I wish it was a little darker but that's alright now we need to check our output I think we're gonna need to add another motor 121 you know what screw it I'm going to put another motor in, just to make sure we have enough juice. Ah, here we go. And we should uh, refuel as well. Okay, so now we have four small engines in our uh, generator bank. And let's just top up some gas. Here we go. And then you just go on over to the generator bank. And just click refuel. We'll top it up here. Look at that. All the way to the top. You see I got quite a bit of fuel stocked up here. So we're good to go for a while. Alright. Now we're talking 200 watts output. 
Full tank of gas. Now it's time to conduct our test. So, there we go. That is our ground level light shining against the wall. And here's that one, our light that's one level up. And our light that is two levels up. Okay, you can see it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. They're illuminating the, the wall pretty well. see yeah so you can see illuminations about the same now we're gonna turn these switches off okay now it's time to test our uh, our building spotlight illumination wait a sec oh no wrong one I gotta move over a couple here okay that's our ground level spotlight back to and up one okay and if we compare you can see that the the, the edge of the uh, the edge of the light kind of is right around the the area of the roof when you compare it with the rooftop of the other building that's where the light kind of ends so about two stories up there when you move it back to and up one the light diffuses a little bit higher up about an, a half a story up Now this, this is back another two and up one. So this is, I think, up two blocks. And it's back ways. The whole building is pretty much covered. And this is the highest one. Now with this level of illumination, we, we're catching the side of the other building, which incidentally is out a ways too. You can see that that building sticks out. That comes back a little bit. And our illumination is covering that whole the edge of the, the right building, the almost the entire middle building, and the edge of the left building. Now with the same distance, these other two spotlights are at the same distance, but then we're going down one, one block, and then this the one's going to go down two blocks. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Now we're catching some decent... And of course, the, the lights move progressively to the right. But you can see what the illumination does. Again, this is just one block up on this light. Two blocks up. And three blocks up. Let me, let me see if I can turn on the gamma just a little bit. Let's see if we can make it a little bit more pronounced. Seem to, is it, am I adjusting the gamma? Video gamma. Oh, that's fi oh, that's field of view. Oh, I'm being stupid. No, it's not the gamma. That's field of view. All right, apply. Let's turn the gamma down to 60. Let's try 60. Oh, there we go. That's a little darker. Okay, nice. It's probably a bit more realistic, too. Okay, so one block up, two blocks up, three blocks up, and then we're starting to move forward, moving forward, and so that's, again, that's ground level up close. And then again, our wall test, two blocks up. One block up and ground level. One block up. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. And let's turn them all on. Let's see when you get a decent little... <laughs> oh, this is interesting. There we go. So that's a whole lot of illumination going on there. And you can imagine if we had a couple zombies, we'd be pounding these guys. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our uh, our spotlight test. And again, you can see the uh, the wiring configuration that I had set up here works pretty well. And 
And again, just to double check the positions of the spotlights and the door. And let's see how many blocks back we are. Um, just out of curiosity. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six. Six blocks to the very first one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks. And as we saw with our other test, it looks like you have about fourteen blocks of direct illumination before it starts diffusing. So if you wanted to double, like if you wanted to highlight this whole area, you would, let's say, maybe go, I, w I would probably do about 12 blocks a, a length, and then I'd put another set of spotlights going, facing the other direction. So you could probably have a gap of about 25 blocks that you could completely illuminate, um, setting up spotlights on either side. So again, just to double check our position, these three, these lights here are 13 blocks. And then we have, let's see, 12, 11, about 10 blocks out on this one, eight blocks out on this one, and six blocks out on that one. So that concludes our spotlight illumination test.